This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. With indictments in the air, can you mm, can you smell it? Can you can you can you smell the potential criminality being uh, leveled with consequence? <laughs> I can. It's starting to 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 just breeze by my olfactory senses. Donald Trump's losing it, and in the in the course of losing it, uh, he is telling on himself. He's confessing. And I don't mean he's like, yeah, I did it. But th- th- there are certain ways that you can tell if someone is lying. One of the ways is when their story changes from day to day or week to week, or in Donald Trump's case, hour to hour. And he was on True Social this morning, his Twitter clone, and he's losing his mind about the documents. What else? The documents trying to say that what Joe Biden did was far worse than what he did. In fact, it's not even anymore that he declassified everything before he left the White House. Remember, that was what he said. And then it was, well, nothing, those were all, everything was above board. There was nothing that was declassified. There was nothing classified or top secret there. Now they're lying. And then it was they planted the information there. And now it's a completely different story. And this should lead you to believe logically because you've dealt with liars in your life that someone who's not sticking to one story must have something to hide. And MAGA world, they don't care. They don't care if it was actually espionage. They don't care if it was just empty folders is kind of what he's saying now. They don't care if... He was making lampshades out of it, which is a claim his lawyer said on like CNN yesterday. They don't care. All they care about is owning the libs and culture war nonsense. But let's read from Donald Trump's Truth Social. Many of the so, this was this morning, by the way, at 728. The following one that I'll read is at 748. Apparently they don't do truth threads like there are Twitter threads because he had to do two different ones and one of them was named page two. (laughs) Fantastic uh, social media site you got there, Donnie. Many of the so-called documents that the Gestapo took in the raid of Mar-a-Lago, we'll just highlight this to talk about it later, uh, unlike the no raids of Biden, were merely inexpensive and very common folders with words such as presidential reading, confidential, classified, or other words stamped on the front cover. There was nothing inside of the folders because during meetings where information was passed out, say at the Oval Office, I love that, say say at the Oval Office, I mean, well, let's just, he, talking like he speaks, great. Um, when finished, the papers inside were taken back, but the empty folders were left behind. Yeah, because that's how handling of classified materials works, especially in the White House. That you have a, a briefer from the NSA or the CIA or the DIA, and they come to brief you, and then they take back their documents but leave the folder. That's certainly how things work. Page two. Oh, no, 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 no. Before we get to that, he's calling the FBI and the, 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 the investigators within the Department of Justice Nazi stormtroopers. He's calling them Nazi secret police. The ex-president of the United States of America, the law and order president, remember. The only I can fix it. We have to have law and order. He's calling law enforcement Nazi secret police. Keep that in mind. Page two. I would put them in a pile and keep them as mementos. Not mementos. Mementos. Nothing wrong with that, but sounds to me like, uh, sounds to me that the injustice department... See what he did there? The Injustice Department, hilarious, views these as documents. They are not. These people are just out looking for trouble. Should be checking Biden's unsecured classified docs instead. How about the 1,850 boxes sent to Delaware? That's the mother load, two words. 
Or separately, how about revealing who spied on my campaign, stuffed the ballot boxes, or paid off the FBI? That's what people want to hear. Nobody with any sense or rationality wants to hear about things that are conspiracies, that are lies concocted by you, dumb, dumb, Donald Trump. There's zero evidence of any of this. In fact, you tried in multiple dozens of court cases, all of which were summarily rejected, laughed in many cases out of court. Lawyers who brought these cases are now facing disciplinary hearings and disbarment in some cases because of the lie that they perpetrated throughout the justice system. Donald Trump is telling on himself without even meaning to because of the change of stories. It's, it's now, they were just empty folders that, that, that were marked top secret. They weren't any documents at all. Who believes this? Please, someone explain this to me. What do you think? I would love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me, daily at dollamore.com. I am on, much probably like you, on social media. I am at Dollamore, just about everywhere. You can find me there. I'd love to connect with you there. And if you appreciate what I do, if I am your flavor of political commentator and you'd like to support my work, take part in this work. Produce the work I do here. Click the join button below. Become a channel member for two bucks a month or go over to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. I love you guys. I appreciate your engagement, your passion and your uh, organization and moving forward to make our country a better place. You are appreciated. I'll see you next time until I do. Be genuine. Take care of one another.